So now an assignment before we get on to shapes. Pretend you have no understanding of shapes. Okay? No understanding of them whatsoever. You probably some do, some don't. Let's just say you want to play around with the tool presets that we just have. Using the tool presets, I made this little thing, okay? And basically what I did here is laid down some groundwork uh via sketch, okay? Like I'll go into a sketch maneuver where uh, sometimes I'll I'll make just a splotch. Okay. Sometimes I'll have an idea right down in stone and then I'll use a finer brush to um, sketch the outside edge of it. But in most cases I don't. You know sometimes I'll just go with mass chaos and use the mover brush to kind of maneuver this stuff around and kind of push it until I have some kind of cool thing appear out of the middle of nothing. Okay. Let's take this for example. You know, I'm already seeing like one of those, what, a whole bunch of different headed dragons. Now with this assignment, it's, you don't have to know how to draw at all. You're just using the tools to kind of produce shapes. And then taking like the sketch brush, for example, and going in here and maybe start addressing some of these shapes up. So be totally creative. Don't really care that you, you don't know how to draw or not. This is mainly just pushing around paint and using the different soft erasers, hard erasers to start bringing out form. Okay, I'm just going to give you a couple examples of what I use, utilize the tools for. And I'll use a hard brush, hard eraser for this. Maybe to create a very sharp look for this character. So let's look like this big huge chicken monster with multiple heads. Now again, I want you to fill an entire 8.5 by 11. So if I zoom out on this, you can start seeing this come into play. Now, I would set yourself a goal. I'm going to make a goal for you. So you, you will say, Jason told me to not go outside this bounds. I will say your goal should be to fill out this entire thing, 8.5 by 11, zoomed in on certain areas, and then start plugging away at the brushes. Your goal is to never take your brush, the brush, the sketch brush, let's say, for example, for the sketch brush only, I would stick within four to six pixels. This will force you to make some really good detail. The rest of the brushes, end game. You don't have to worry about the, the goals for those. But for your sketch brush, to make your details in your area, stick between a four and a six on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper with a gray background. All right, so that's your assignment. Fill this entire sheet with doodles and see what you can do before we start getting into shapes. All right. Have a good one.